Hello, welcome back to SQL Tutorials. Now we'll be saying another important command in TCL that is save point under SQL. So what is save point? So we can divide the transaction into sessions or group by using a save point. Right? Syntax is save point. I missed T over here. Sorry about that. Save point and the name. So below is the sample example. You can see save point A. Insert command, update commands and delete commands. So what why we use save point is needed right so what is the purpose of using save point that is the first point we need to understand so there will be a lot of uh, DML transaction that you will be doing like insert update delete and so on right so after performing all the set of operations I mean say set of DML transactions so what I wanted to do is I want to roll back all the DML operation that we perform so how to do that simply you give save point A and you'll be writing insert commands update commands and delete commands right and now you realize that you wanted to roll back that one so roll back to A right so that means it will whatever the save point was saved all the commands in this save point A so that all this will be rolled back the commit and rollback will not have any effect on DDL events that means obviously right the commit and rollback will always be effect on DML events only so I hope you are clear with the save point let's see let's take sample example of how a rollback I mean save point works so save point A I just started with save point A and the save point is created now I'm trying to do some insert operation insert into employee 2 and I'm going to update uh, 106 that means 14,000 with 14,500 and I'm going to delete employee ID 101 so when I do a select operation I can see all uh, I don't see 101 record because it is deleted and also I have inserted a new record with uh, 106 as a nil count uh, then I have updated the salary with 14,000 with four earlier now it's been updated to 14,000 so that means I have used three different DML transaction insert update and delete so okay finally I'm trying to retrieve all the data so I can see all the changes were reflecting right I can simply I wanted to know uh, what I want to do is just simply roll back all the DML transaction simple rollback will just roll back the earlier transaction that is delete from AMP2 was it right that will only roll back but save point will roll back delete update insert right so roll back to whatever the save point was created to A that means rollback is completed and now you can see employee ID that was deleted that's been came and also uh, do you see any record with anil gout no right so it was created in this save point so that's how a save point works and it plays very very important especially when there is an bulk updates being done so in the real time so this you can make you can park it in your mind so that it will be very easy whenever you attend an interviews or when you start practicing it okay I hope you are clear with all the important commands regarding NTCL that is commit uh, it, it is used to uh, save the records permanently roll back it is to roll back the changes save point to obey the multiple transactions you wanted to roll back Okay. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial again. Uh, if you if you like this tutorials, kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel below by clicking the subscribe button and to get more and more updates. Thank you all. Have a great and pleasureful day or an evening.